Good day everyone and you're welcome to another tutorial on Najma test. In this particular tutorial we're going to be dealing with the Camel programming language and for those doing math informatic you know you already have the programmation functional and uh, in programmation functional which I already have videos on that already you can check uh, below or the description as well as you know there in programmation functional you get to do your codes and your tds now where you get to actually do your practicals you do that using the camel programming language now pro camel programming language is like it's a general purpose programming language you get to do almost everything with with program with, with this programming language um it's a cool programming language it's cool actually and then you can use it for functions get to do for recursive functions get to even for uh, object oriented programming it's right here on camel so for your practicals in your second semester you get to use this mostly for your second semester so for today we'll be looking at how to evaluate expressions using camel so Basically, for us to get used to how to use Camel, we have to know how to use the expressions, and that's why I'm here. We get to learn the cool stuff, and there are not a lot of videos on Camel Light on YouTube, so I guess this would also be able to help a lot. Actually, so now we're going to start with an example. The cool part about this as well is that, for example, in C, when you want to declare. A variable you have to you associate it i just write something right here you associate it with maybe you want an integer or if you want to float you associate it that you want a float here the, the cool like i said i'll come back to it now the cool part about camel light is that you don't have to declare it if i if i put my a i replace my a with a value my variable replaces the value now value once i click it in it's going to tell me if what I've clicked in is an integer or it's a float or it's a string. You see, so that's another cool part about it. So let me give you an example. Let's say uh and pick a random number, something like this. And you know also in I'll try and use C because I just I want to be able to make a comparison. So like in C when you have when you're done with writing an expression you know we end it with a point value but for camel we end with double okay so if i click on this you see right here cool stuff right it's showing us already that it's an integer so let's say if and same thing with camel it also performs like arithmetic operations addition subtraction division multiplication and the like so we're going to start with let's say dividing and so if i want to divide 10 over 2 you see right here it's it's going to give us an integer because we know 10 over 2 is going to give us 5 and it's an integer so integer it's equal to 5. now let's try to find the uh, remainder from an expression all right here we have 10 over 2 let's use this let's say 10 would be 2 you see right here because there is no remainder when we divide from 10 over 2 there's no remainder that's why it's telling us that it is equal to 0 now let's let's multiply something let's multiply 10 times 2 10 times 2 right here same thing it's an integer it's giving us 20 now let's try something funny right here we have a 2.5 let's say we have a 2.5 plus 5 so like that yeah so you see right here it's telling us this is where it's showing us where the problem is from it's telling us that it's right here okay so you're saying that this expression 
has a type float but it is used with the type int what is it trying to say this is a type float you can see it's a real number it's it's a float okay so and it's associated with type int it's associated with the type of integer and so it can't give you an answer it, ha it has to follow a certain center you see so that's where i introduced something we call the int of floats the int of floats i just give it a space right here i just put that int of floats the int of floats what it does actually is that it changes a float into an integer that's what we call the int of floats it changes a float to an integer so if I have a two, uh, a two point zero, for example, let's see what it does. It's changed. It has changed it now to an integer. So that's what we're going to apply here, right here. So just do this. I have five right here plus five. You see right here. Now it's going to give you the answer seven because. 2 plus 5 is going to give you 7. It's taking the, the integer from this expression, changing it to that. So you see right here what it does. Int of floats 2.5 right here. The int of floats 2.5. It takes the integer from it and then it gives you this. So what I'm trying to say is even if I want to... I want... It, it follows like a certain way. If I have to add 2 integers to get the number or I have to add two floats to get a number if i have an integer and i want it to be a float i can easily change it to a float just like here i have a float and i'm changing it to an integer if i want to have a if i have an integer and i want to change it into a float i basically do the same thing i have a float a float of int so a float of int of let's say 10 you see right here it gives us a float 10.0 so that's another cool stuff about Carmel so here now we're going to look at now we just finished looking at the expressions to get integers now we're going to look at the expressions to get floats so to get floats like just like we started the, the at the, at the beginning we put in like a random number and Carmel told us that it was an integer same thing let's put in a random number okay let's say 3.14 you see right here it's telling us that it's a float automatically it tells us it's a float right so I can also perform arithmetic operations with this let's add two numbers let's see three Point one four plus I was making this mistake was a five point nine. Whoa. So you see what happened right here. This expression has type float but is used with type int. So why it's giving that expression is this is a type float, this is a type float. But our arithmetic progression, uh, uh, so, so sorry about that. Our arithmetic operation right here, the plus, the addition sign, is used, is associated with the type int. So when we want to associate, if we want to add two numbers, all right, let's just do something quickly here. Let's say I have three plus five. It's going to give me an integer, which is going to be eight, right? Now, just what, I, what I'm going to do right here. So I put you see right here i changed before there was no dots right here but here you see that there is now a dot once I, when i do this it means i'm associating these two with float so this now you see the arrow right here this expression has type int but is used with type float so that's what we are going that's that's why it couldn't work the other time so we'll bring back our former expression so we had 0.14 and then we had 
29 right okay so this is going to work now if we put the dots right here to actually see that we're having two floats we're trying to add two floats together so if i click this you see right here it's telling that it's a type float check and uh it's a float and this is the value when you add the two of them together so let's say i want to divide two numbers is it 10 first i'm going to try using it with an integer and then you see the difference so it's a 10 divided by 6 for example it's giving us one it's just giving us the uh on ta the integer from that now this you see the same thing we did right here right so we are going to change this to a type float but what was going to happen right here this expression this expression has type int but is used with type float mm -hmm. so we're having integer here and another integer here and we're associating with the type float right here in the division sign so we have to correct that so we have to do this so like that okay no i'm not too familiar with my keyboard i know it's just kind of different from what i'm used to so we have this and uh this so now you see right you see your complete answer in float so that's how we basically work in integers and in float in camel so in our next video we'll be looking at how to work the boolean expressions and how to work with characters shendu character and then also how to work with couplet that's two variables that is two or more variables at the same time that's couplet so gradually we are going to so this is what we'll, this is our tp1 so in the next video we're going to still continue that tp1 because we're still in one it's just oh yeah so i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching but don't forget to subscribe below and if you want like i said if you want to get the codes and the tds for programmation functional you can also check on my channel or i'm going to put in the description below as time goes on so thank you for watching and see you in the next video